going on people i'm back i'm back i'm back welcome to another episode of i ain't gonna say nothing but we're just cover some topics that you know we all think is funny but we don't say nothing about it so let me say something for you so let's get into it so i ain't gonna say nothing but it is about time i mean of course it took a long time for our prayers our wishes just to come to answer but yes he will finally be behind jail no this is not an april fool's joke yes april fools was last week but now there's been vindication for us all the man the myth the legend himself yes our former president has been indicted on 34 counts including hush money to a former porn star yes i mean we all understand hush money isn't that what it's supposed to be hush don't say nothing i'm paying you wink wink but still i mean you're not supposed to say anything you're not supposed to know what's going on but yeah and still you think you are the golden boy you are the token you can get away and do absolutely everything that you want to under the sun and you don't have to pay for your transgressions well you orange bitch bend over because they're probably going to have fun with you because all 34 counts that you pleaded not guilty to they uh, are felonies yes felonies are very different than misdemeanors because once you have a felony on your record it is on your record for forever forever so looks like you won't be our 46th president now will you there mr orange bitch huh yeah you know you're trying to pay people off and think you can get away with whatever you want just because you have billions well those billions ain't going to help you no they're not you might have the greatest what uh defense that you can buy that money can buy well mm -mm. once you get indicted bro and once you are convicted you are convicted i mean just ask normal people who get convicted of things and then then i remember seeing this post on twitter where someone tried to compare donald trump to uh the late great big and tupac like can you believe this dumb shit someone actually posted this now i don't agree with it whatsoever because they are two, three different holy people because you know two of them black and he, he's orange so i mean how can you compare and contrast these three people to each other the two yes but the three no they do not carry the same weight this is one boat that is definitely going to be sinking and this orange bitch yeah he's going in he is definitely going to be someone's orange slice when it's night night time that's right bitch you are going down and thanks to whoever like really pushed to get him indicted on all these counts i applaud you i applaud you so much that you're making it seem as though like uh we are getting our just due process because we know when it comes to justice it's only just us yes just us black ones it's never the white ones or the caucasians yes the caucasians always get away with it because hey they are the golden ones they are the the uh they're the ones who can get away get away with any and everything but this orange bitch isn't and i'm so happy that he is not going to get off so scot free so those 34 counts you best be ready to take it up the ass there pony boy because you are definitely going to be someone's orange slice in prison yes orange slices so hopefully you don't run into biscuit you know when he's trying to get that biscuit i don't think the secret service can save you there buddy I mean, I ain't gonna say nothing, but it is about fucking time. It is about fucking time that you pay for your sins, especially when, you know, you let the white people have their own Juneteenth or January 6th, where everybody just stormed the Capitol because you wanted to incite a ride it and people really believed you off of Twitter and then your Twitter got suspended. So, you know what? This is reparation. Well, it's reparation. No, it's not reparation. It's something the world will come to me <laughs> but you know what this is this is just cause because uh with every action there's a reaction so this is the reaction from what you caused two years ago when you thought you were above the law you could do whatever you possibly could and now look at you now look at you yeah you can still sit up in your fancy mansion and yeah you know, in your penthouse and do whatever do whatever it is you think you could do but 
it ain't gonna happen anymore it is finally come what is done the dark will come to the light and buddy mm, mm, mm. it's gonna be night night for you nigga it is going to be night night for you so you can have your secret service right now they might protect you you can do whatever you want but remember money does not always guarantee you an easy street sometimes it leads you down a road that you just don't want to go and we should all take lessons from this because this future president right well this former president right here he may have been good when he was giving out those stimmy checks to all of us but you know what now it don't even matter because now he's paying for his debts he's paying for his decisions that he decided to make just because he thought he was above the law but not anymore because you're not getting away with it so i ain't gonna say nothing but it's time it's time i ain't gonna say nothing but we just we need to take a moment of silence yeah we really do um the founder of Cash App, he was uh, brutally stabbed in San Francisco. And it was a damn shame because without him, we wouldn't have Cash App. We wouldn't be, you know, telling people, hey, just Cash App me and, you know, give me the money that I need. Or, uh, yeah, it's, it's a damn shame that he went out like that the way he did. I wonder if he got stabbed because he didn't want to Cash App someone. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm just asking questions, you know, because where would we be without Cash App? Like, really, where would we be if we told someone, hey, just Cash App me, okay? You know, because a lot of people don't carry money anymore. We, the ones who do are probably old people and little kids. I mean, I know I don't carry money. I barely have a dollar on me, if ever. And I can't remember the last time I actually had physical money in my hand or even in my, in my pockets. Now it's almost like, hey, cash at me, sale. Uh, what are some other ones? Um, PayPal. Oh, fuck, I don't even use PayPal. Yeah, so it's like, I don't, I, that's my go to is like my cash app. And when I'm sitting here thinking about it, yeah, those are two that you cash app and Zelle, maybe PayPal, but whoever has PayPal is stupid. PayPal is probably for those ones who are trying to scam. Um, so yeah, we really need to take a moment of silence for the founder of Cash App, Bob Lee. He was brutally stabbed in San Francisco because he probably didn't cash up someone. You know, without Cash App, we wouldn't be able to say, hey, give me my money. But the one thing I do hate about Cash App is they got to charge you a fee, like, I understand you have to make money, but shouldn't it be over a certain dollar amount that you should just get all the money? Like if I send someone twenty dollars, they're only going to get nineteen seventy five or nineteen fifty back. Why can't I just get the full twenty? When I gotta send someone like twenty one or twenty two dollars just to be able to cover a fee? Hell, some people don't even have that. So that means you almost have to say, hey. Can I borrow 1975? Because we know they're not going to get the full twenty dollars. Because Cash App is going to take a portion of that just so they can be able to cover their fees. It, they, it should become like a service fee or process sets fee free. Really should. Honestly, I'm just saying. That's just me. I ain't gonna say nothing, but I think it's a scam. Like, why do you have to charge people a little bit of their money just to get their money? from somebody else it's stupid it's so stupid like i just i don't get it i really don't get it i i'm just at all i'm so at all and i'm like wow i can't believe this i heard i wondered it like you really think this through and it's like everybody has a cash app tag now so it's it's everywhere i can't even remember like i i can't remember how long i've been with cash app maybe what five years let me go with my thing real quick. Yeah, so it says I've been with Cash App since like 2015. 2015? Yeah, no, sorry. 2016. So yeah, I've been with them a while, for six years. Okay, and I never really used it. But then when I started interacting with more and more people, I was like, oh, okay just cash at me and it's it's stupid it's stupid that i gotta send 21 
or $22 just to be able to give someone $20 back. And then you gotta wait. And then Cash App is almost trying to get you to sign up so you know you could do their ta- you could do your taxes through them. Like <clears throat> make up your mind. Which are you going to be? Are you going to be a place to where people can actually use their money or a place to where you want people just to send their money and you know you make money off their money? Because it sounds like a setup to me. It really does. It really sounds like a real, real setup. But I ain't gonna say nothing, but I'm sorry you died, Bob Lee, because you didn't cash out someone. May you rest in peace. Rest in peace. I ain't gonna say nothing, but you know how we always talk about, we see a lot of hood fights, you know, in the hood where it's at a liquor store, a Waffle House, McDonald's, and a parking lot, and Walmart. Or even in Walmart, hell. Um, but we never see a lot of, a lot of like fights in the suburbs. Now we might see like a couple dumb white hoes. They be fighting over, you know, Deron or Jeffrey, you know, because they want to keep that black dick and they don't want to be sharing it. But then they find out that they are sharing it, and then there's a problem. But we never actually see two white dudes fighting in the capacity level such as this. Yes. Now, if you take a look at his video, at first it starts off simple, but this dude who answered and went out to confront this dude, he was almost looking like, yeah, he was ready to fight. He was ready to fight from the jump. Now, I mean, as we're sitting here watching this and I'm watching it with you, like I can't honestly believe like this dude should have just never brought his lily white ass over to begin with. <laughs> and the fact that there is just an open field. Like an open field through this entire thing, and somehow, some way, not only does he get his glasses smacked off his face, but in the midst of it, the dude is able to pull his shirt off of him and then just like make it back up and just beat the living dog shit out of him. And you do hear a scream in the background, but there's like nobody around. Nobody's around there to stop them from fighting. Say, hey, what are you doing? Please stop. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing like this. So this is like suburbia. 101. Suburban fights 101 that I just love seeing. Because you don't see this every day. Like I came across this video on my timeline on, on Twitter. And I'm like, oh my God. I cannot believe this. I really can't. I was like, I was at all that I actually saw this shit. And I'm thinking, wow. I can't believe this shit. It was so funny. And shout out uh, the dude who posted it on Twitter. His handle is JC Fights. So shout out to that dude for actually like having this fight. I don't know if it was the cameraman but the cameraman was pretty funny when he was egging this dude on the whole time like i just i couldn't believe this like i had to watch it at least three or four times and then sit here and write my notes as i'm recording this to tell you like my thoughts on this like this is one of those times where you actually find it funny where you see just two white dudes fighting over god knows what because it sounds like he's complaining about something he really does but still it's like he's trying and like i said the dude he just he takes not only does he smack the shit out of him with his glass he also takes he also takes his shirt off and he's backing him up but then he gets to the point where he just he just he just chops the hell out of him with his foot and next thing you know he's just on the ground he just beats the shit out of him like you just you don't see this shit every day you really don't <laughs> like i said the dude was just ready for a fight he was just absolutely ready so i ain't gonna say nothing but keep it up white people you're uh you're really doing good out here you really are um wow white people do the dumbest things they do it's not it's it's not caught like this very often but when it is man black twitter just goes fucking nuts for this shit because we we get enough flack for the shit we do but it's about time that you know um these some bitches they get caught on candy camera too so i ain't gonna say nothing so this last segment i just want to say real quick that um 
I want to give a shout out to the LSU women's uh, basketball team for winning the national championship the other night. Uh, and it is one thing to where, you know, you we had this like good versus evil, good versus evil, um, the big versus the little, you know, the underdog. Sometimes we want to root for the underdog. Sometimes we don't. But what we don't like to root for is black versus white. Uh, so it was, a, it was LSU versus Iowa. And LSU whooped the shit out of them. 102 to 85. I mean, there's just no comparison that y'all beat them by over 20. I mean, if you made if you made a bet and you took the spread, you probably won some big bucks on that game. You probably did. But but what was really significant about this was the taunt how you know first Caitlin Cart wanted to do the you can't see me deal, and then Angela Reese, or I mean Angel Reese, excuse me, wanted to come back with the taunting of the green finger. Now everybody has viewpoints on it. It's very different. But how I look at it as for every action there's a reaction. So you thought you was the bigger one. Yes, you Caitlin Carr, she put up some astounding, astounding stats, you know, by you know, be the first ever to, you know, lead the to- the the tournament in points. That's great. That's great. But you know what? You didn't finish the job. You didn't do what you're supposed to. You did not lead your team to victory. The only thing you led him to was defeat because not only did you defeat yourself, but you let the opponent, your opponent beat you at your own game. So you thought your taunt would not follow you. Well, bitch, you're wrong. It did follow you. And you saw what happened. You lost badly. Badly. So chuck up your losses, lick your wounds, and come back next year fighting. But you might not be so lucky because the run you went on, you just might not be able to hit that again. We all know these Cinderella stories and these sports type of deals. It's like you get on a hot start, a hot streak, and you start going, going, running, running. The next thing you know, you know, you get to the end to where it really matters. Well, you came up short. Yeah, you came up real short. So... Chuck it up to loss, bitch, because you did it. You did it. And I'm not trying to be cynical. I'm just saying that don't think that you can be able to get away with something and it's not going to follow you because you ran into a better opponent. You really did. The opponent was better than you. They beat you at your own game. And now you got to think, well, what would have just happened? Next time, sometimes taunting is not always the best thing that you need to do. It really isn't. So come back next year. Hopefully you do. Hopefully you don't. It all depends. You see what happens. So. That's all I got to say about that. So I ain't going to say nothing, but Angela Reese, LSU, y'all did good girls. Shout out. Shout out. Well, people, this has been another episode of I Ain't Gonna Say Nothing, but I'm your host, Will. Keep it locked here. If this is the first time that you have, you know, seen this channel, join this channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Got any more questions, any comments, put them down below in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as best as I possibly can. So this is your host, Will, and... I will talk to you all soon.